in adsorption the substance is concentrated only at the surface and does not penetrate through the surface to the bulk of the adsorbent while in adsorb adsorption the substance is uniformly distributed throughout the bulk of the solid for example when a chalk stick is dipped in ink the surface retains the color of the ink due to adsorption of colored molecules while the solvent of the ink goes deeper into the stick due to adsorption on breaking the chalk stick it is found to be white from inside a distinction can be made between the adsorption and absorption by taking an example of water vapor water vapors are absorbed by anhydrous calcium chloride but adsorbed by silica gel in other words in adsorption the concentration of the adsorbent increases only at the surface of the adsorbent while in absorption the concentration is uniform throughout the bulk of the solid let's look into the mechanism of adsorption adsorption arises due to the fact that the surface particle of the adsorbent are not in the same environment as the particles inside the bulk inside the adsorbent all the forces acting between the particles are mutually balanced but on the surface the particles are not surrounded by atoms or molecules of their kind on all sides and hence the process unbalanced and residual attractive forces these forces of adsorbent are responsible for attracting the adsorbent particles on its surfaces the extent of adsorption increases with increase in the surface area per unit mass of the adsorbent at a given temperature and pressure another important factor featuring adsorption is the heat of adsorption during adsorption there is always a decrease in residual force of the surface therefore there is decrease in surface energy which appears as heat adsorption therefore is invariably an exothermic process in other words the delta h of adsorption is always negative when a gas is adsorbed the freedom of movement of its particle becomes restricted the amount of decrease in the entropy of the gas after adsorption so delta s is negative so adsorption is thus accompanied by decrease in the enthalpy as well as decrease in the entropy of the system for a process to be spontaneous the thermodynamic requirement is that at constant temperature and pressure delta g must be negative therefore there is a decrease in gibbs energy so on the basis of equation delta g is equal to delta h minus t into delta s delta g can be negative and if delta h has sufficiently high negative value as minus t into delta s is positive thus in an adsorption process which is spontaneous a combination of these two factors makes delta g negative as the adsorption proceeds delta h becomes less and less negative ultimately delta h becomes equal to t into delta s and delta g becomes zero at this state equilibrium is attained